Anusha Tegurala from Grade 3 Red. I was given a task on making a presentation about rights and responsibilities of an ideal town and the differences that the rights and responsibilities will make in an ideal town and how to state their environment. So first of all, I will let you know what is a right and what is a responsibility. This is my presentation. What is a right? A right is something we need to have. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. For example, it is my right to have education. What is a responsibility? A responsibility is something we must do. For example, if my mother is, got, is going out of the house, then it is my responsibility as her elder daughter to take care of my house. Now I will let you know what is an environment. An environment is everything that is around us. For example, for example, my neighborhood, my school, and the, all the nature that is around me is my environment because it, because it is around me. Now let's discuss the rights and responsibilities of an ideal town. Now I will tell you the rights. Everyone has a right to be provided with food. So everyone has a right to be provided with healthy food so they can grow up being strong and healthy. Everyone has a right to have a house. Everyone has a right to have a house in which they are taken care of, in which they are free and in which they have peace. Everyone has a right to be treated fairly. Everyone has a right to be treated fairly. For example, if my brother gets some sweets, then it is my right to be treated fairly and get some the same amount of sweets as him. Kids have right to get education. Kids have right to get education so they can grow up being good citizens. Now I will let you know the responsibilities of these rights. The right is everyone has a right to be provided with food and the responsibility is everyone is responsible to not waste food. The right is everyone has a right to have a house and its responsibility is everyone should work and pay tax for government to create employment for others to afford house. The right is everyone has a right to be treated fairly and its responsibility is everyone has a responsibility to treat others fairly. And the last right is, kids have right to get education and its responsibility is, kids must learn with focus so they can be good citizens. Now these are some more rights. Everyone has a right to be provided with health facilities. So if anyone is sick, then it's it's their right to be taken care of and, and to be taken care of and so they can get well. Every grown up has a right to be pro provided with job facilities so they can so they can earn money and 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 fulfill their their needs and wants and the needs of their family. Every person has a right of freedom of speech. This means that ev that everyone can say anything that they want, but they if so, if if that thing hurts anyone, they should not say. Everyone has a right to have peace. This means this means that everyone has a right to have peace. For example, if there is no stealing or crimes, then the people then the people will be will have lots of peace and quiet. Now these are the responsibilities of these rights. The right is everyone has a right to be provided with health food and its responsibility. Everyone has a right to keep hospitals clean and pay tax to the government for providing services. The right is every grown up has a right to be provided with job facilities. The and its responsibility is every grown up has a responsibility to fulfill his slash her duty fairly and fairly and timely. The right is every person has a right of freedom of speech. Responsibility is everyone is responsible to use freedom of speech without hurting anyone's feelings, faith, 
and religion. The right is, everyone has a right to have peace and its responsibility is, everyone has a responsibility to not violate the laws of peace. Now, I'm going to tell you the rights and responsibilities that, uh, that I'm going to tell you the difference that these rights and responsibilities can make in an ideal town. This will make peace in my town. This will make my town's people be, to be treated fairly and they will feel relaxed to support others. Kids will be confident after education and they will eventually serve the town and country. This will make my town's people healthy to fulfill duties, their duties. Now I'm going to tell now I'm going to tell you how to save our environment. People should grow lots of plants, trees, to, so the environment stays, stays clean. People should throw litter in garbage to reduce pollution. People should follow the three R's, reduce, recycle and reuse, so the environment will be a better place. People should follow traffic rules so there will be less accidents. Cyclists, motorcyclists should wear helmets and car drivers should wear seatbelts so there will be less deaths. People should not cut down forests so animals will have a habitat. People should reduce the amount of plastic bags and use paper bags. People should use less cars and ride more cycles. We should do all these things to save the environment so the environment will be clean and green and there will be lots of greenery in the environment and there will be lots of fresh air in the environment and also this will make my the environment a better place i hope you like my my presentation thank you